Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I have a nice little PC tutorial on it to show you how do you hook up your PC to a HD television. Now, in order to achieve this, you're going to pretty much just need one thing. You're going to need an HDMI cable. Now, you not only can uh, use an HDMI cable, you also can use a VGA uh, cable as well. Uh, but for now, we're going to use the HDMI cable because that's the one I have. Now, with HDMI cables, they do some of them do come with a cap on it. Cap on it like this. You have to remove the cap in order to install uh, this cable. And also, you have to keep in mind, how long do you want your cord? Um, this is about a 7-foot cord. And um, it's uh, seven, uh, 7 feet. You have to keep in mind, how far is your HD television from your console you want to hook up? Keep that in mind. This is 7 feet. Uh, just take a measuring tape and just measure seven feet. If it's more than that, make sure you get a uh, cable according to the distance. Now, right now I'm going to show you what does these ports look like on your PC, on your PC and your HD, uh, HD television. Now, for your PC, um, you just have to locate it. Mine, I got an Asus desktop. Mine is actually at the bottom. It's labeled HDMI. You see it right here, right there in the middle, HDMI. Now, I don't know if all ports are labeled on all PCs, but if your port looks like this, it's probably an HDMI. Um, probably not. Just <laughs> test it. If it looks anywhere like this and it's also labeled, it can help out as well. Now, for my HD television, if I zoom in, it's pretty much the same ports. Um, mine are labeled. I got three HDMI ports. Um, and this is important to know which one you're plugging it into. Now you see it right here. It says, uh, it says one, two, and three. Now you have to remember which port you put it in because that's going to be crucial when you are installing it. And, and that's just pretty much it. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the HDMI cord, um, HDMI, HDMI cord plugged in. Now, pretty much, you just have to follow the pattern that is on the HDMI cord. Just let that zoom in real quick. You see how that is? It has to go in there exactly like that. You cannot force it in. You see how the pattern is where it's like where it's, where it looks like that. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh, sorry about that. What it looks like uh, hooked hooked into it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's how it pretty much look. It has to go in there snug. You can't like force it in or anything like that. The same thing goes for your um, for your uh, television as well. It just has to fit. Don't try to force it in or anything like that. So pretty much, let me let me turn these back around. So pretty much that's it. I'm going to show you what does it look like with it all hooked up. Another thing you need to know when you do hook this up. And you turn your PC on, it will automatically recognize it on your HD television. And if it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to get it to, um, especially if you're coming from AV or component cables for your HD television, you have to switch the inputs. But I'm going to show you all about that later. And uh, let's just get to the installation. Okay. We have everything hooked up. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in the back. Take a flashlight. That's how it how it looks. That's how it looks hooked up to the HD television. And the cord down there, that's how it looks with it hooked up to the PC. Now, before we start anything, let's go ahead before we turn on our PC, let's go ahead and change the inputs. Now the input is pretty much how you're going to get the signal from your PC to your HD television and we're going to the HDMI through the HDMI cable. So with 
my HD television, I can do it either two ways. You see this input button right here? I can press that to switch to um, the input. Or I can use my remote. And it'll say input. So let's go ahead before we turn on our PC, turn on the television first. And it, and my, my lens is going to get a little bit blurry since the television is on. So, it's turned on. What we're going to do now is go and press input. And say if it's on component, my uh, HDMI cable is in the slot one of the HDMI. So it's going to go ahead, go to HDMI, press enter. And you're going to see it says HDMI 1, which is the slot that is, uh, we selected. Now what we're going to do now is go ahead and turn on the PC. It automatically recognizes it. It's booting up. All right, now I'm going to tell y'all something. If you're doing this for the very first time, it is not going to be in HD. Now, if you're doing it for the very first time and it is in HD, that's great. But when I did this, by default out of the box it wasn't in HD so what you're seeing now is HD but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you two things I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password now that's what it looks like but unfortunately if you're coming out of the box it's not gonna be in HD now this is HD but what we're gonna do like say if you don't know You'll know if it's in HD. I'm going to show you how to get to HD fast, how to do it, uh, make it HD. All you're going to do is just take your cursor and just click anywhere on the desktop itself, which is just where your icons are at. Just click on the desktop. Right click, which is pretty much, you're just going to right click on a button. Um, this is left, this is right. Just right click, and a window is going to pop up. And all you do is go down to screen resolution. And another window pops up. Now this is where you change your resolution. Simple as that. You go to resolution and you can either go full uh, 920 by 1080 or 17 by 68. Now I go 17 to 68 uh, by 1768 by 992 because I don't know if you can be able to see this, but You'll see a black bar. You don't see it since it's dark in here, but I don't get the full screen. But if I do try to get the full 1080p, the this taskbar is not going to fit, and some of the icons are not going to fit. So you just tinker with that, and just click OK and, and things like that. It'll tell you how to prompt. It's really simple. But if you're if you're stuck, just let me know and I'll assist you. Now we're not done yet. There's two things you have to do when you hook up your HDMI. First, you have to send the signal, which we did. And second, you have to send the sound through it. Um, before I bought this PC, one um, reviewer said, oh, sound doesn't come through HDMI. And I had to call ASUS themselves and ask, does it come through the thing? They said, yeah. And I said, I thought so, because that's the only way sound can be there. What you're going to do is you're going to um, go to your start menu, click on your start menu, go to control panel, and a window is going to pop up. And I'm using a Windows 64 bit, Windows 7 64 bit. And you're going to go down to hardware and sound. And where you're going to go right here is you're going to go to you're going to click on sound and another window pops up and this is crucial to know because I'm going to show you you have to set your sound output as your television so what you're going to do is you're going to select STD HDMI TV 1 but not only are you going to select it, 
you're going to go and click set as default which means it's going to be well, every time you start your PC it's going to be um, coming through your your television the sound is going to be coming through your television now if you unhook this and you hook it back up to a regular monitor your regular speakers you have to select the speakers again um, and set as your default and what you're going to do is press OK now one thing one thing one way you know what your output is is a little tip go down here to your speaker output and you're going to see the icon change from the speaker to the HD television which is pretty cool now let's see if it works let me go ahead and just click a video. Let's see what happens. Let's let's turn it up. Hey everyone, my name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And today I have a special video. As there you, you can go. Tell by this, uh, Who that title, handsome guy right I there? Reach a thousand subscribers. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and before I go, I got to show you three more things, just quick. If you want to do the long way of changing your resolution, all you pretty much have to do is just do the same thing that you did for your sound. Just go, click on a start button, control panel, and go to um, hardware and sound again. And you're going to go... You're going to go down to display and just click on adjust screen resolution. And there you go. And just do the same thing I showed you uh, at, the, at the very beginning. Also, you need to know that you, can ha you cannot have two outputs going from your PC. You either can have, you know, your VGA or your HDMI. If you try to hook this up to have two outputs, it is not going to work at all. Zero. It's not going to work. Also, another cool thing about working on your HD television, you can actually switch from your, say I, I play PlayStation 3, and I want to do something on my PC, but also play on my PlayStation 3. And I edit videos while the video is processing. I switch inputs from component, which my PS3 is going to, and my HDMI, which is my computer. I can switch and play on the component input, which was really convenient. So while my PC is like processing the video, I can switch to my PS3, which is going to my component cable. And uh, pretty much uh, there you go. So let's get back to the video and thanks for watching. Um, that's it. If you have, uh, if you like what you saw today, um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It help, really helps out a lot. And if you still have any questions, just go ahead and leave it in the comments section. I'll um, try to um, answer to the best of my ability. But there you go. That's the PC tutorial on how to hook up HDMI cable to your HD. Uh, how to hook up a PC to your uh, HD television. And there go all my contact information. See you later. Thanks a lot.